Sorry, put the axe down. The family of Charles Byers says it's taking additional legal action in response to their son's death. You'll recall Byers was shot and killed while holding a hatchet and backing away from officers after they responded to a breaking and entering call. You're watching 8 News at 6. I'm Eric Phillips. I'm Heather Hope and for Deanna Albritton tonight. 8 News reporter Jamal Williams joining us live in Chesterfield. And Jamal, what is this new information you can tell us? Well, Heather, Eric, I spoke to Paul Curley, the family's attorney, who says they're looking to add the county and the officer involved as defendants in the $35 million lawsuit. This case involves a, a systemic breakdown in the mental health crisis system in the greater metropolitan Richmond area. The ongoing case of Charles Byers is taking another turn. Now, the Byers family attorney, Paul Curley, says he's looking to add the county and officer Gordon Painter to the $35 million lawsuit. The city of Richmond and HCA Chippenham blame Chesterfield. Chesterfield blames the city of Richmond and HCA Chippenham. Um, I thought it was important to bring all the parties involved in this matter into the same case. The new federal court filing alleges the county violated Byers Fourth and 14th Amendment rights to be free from excessive force and that the county had knowledge that Officer Painter had a propensity to use excessive force too quickly, did nothing to prevent harm to citizens at the hands of Officer Painter, and attempted to cover up his unlawful actions. Charles Byers was not a threat to the officer who shot him. He was not a threat to anyone. The police Department released a statement last night saying in part, the Chesterfield County Police Department stands by the actions taken by its officers on July 8, 2023, when they responded to a 911 call for reports of a breaking and entering in a residential neighborhood in Chesterfield County. Officers have a duty to protect the community and a right to protect themselves, and our officers did both. The statement concludes by saying, we understand from media reports that the Byers family is now seeking to add the county and its officer to the already pending litigation. As such, this will be the police department's last statement on this matter. Curley says, the department is gaslighting with their response and telling the public not to believe what they saw. All I ask is for someone to watch the video in an objective way. Um, you know, view the video objectively. Don't allow politics or anything else to influence what happened here. Now, Curly says it will be up to a judge to either deny or accept this new motion. And as always, we'll keep you updated on air and online with the latest. Live in Chesterfield, Jamal Williams, 8 News.